Okay, we now have our skeleton app in place. That means we can go ahead and start filling out the blanks. So there's a couple of these tasks here which I'd like to get rid of first before we start putting this on an asynchronous transport and having some fun with Messenger. And that is to generate the PDF and to send an email with the PDF attached. So even though the steps do come in that order, you need to generate the PDF first before you send the email. I think the best way for us to approach this would be to actually get the email out of the way. We'll set up Symphony Mailer because if you're thinking about how someone else interacts with this and how uh, someone's going to test this, it'll be much easier for a tester to actually go and check that a PDF has been generated if they can actually just open the email with the PDFs up there, then having to work with like hacky workarounds where uh, you're writing it to a folder and then they might have to go and um, look in a development folder for that uh, PDF. No, nope, that just doesn't sound very good to me. I think a better solution is to provide something which feels a little bit more like the finished product. And so what we'll do is we'll work on the email first and then it should be a straightforward step to just add the PDF to that email for the next round of testing. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience. And if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. So emails, the first thing we're gonna need is mailer, as in Symphony Mailer. So composer, require symphony forward slash mailer. So I like to use symphony components as much as possible rather than using other third party ones. Here when you install this, you'll get asked this question and it says the recipe for this package contains some Docker configuration. This may create update Docker compose YAML or update docker file if it exists. Do you want to include docker configuration from recipes? I'm gonna say yes to this because it gives me a docker compose file with uh, something called a mail catcher. I'll show you what that is now. So here you'll see this file, docker-compose.override.yaml and it already has some detail in there and that is a mailer and something called shickling mail catcher, an image called Shickling Mail Catcher. We can pull this and use this to imitate having an actual mail transport. And basically what that means is we'll be able to go ahead, write our PHP code for actually sending emails, and then we won't be getting sidetracked by setting up transports and everything like that because we'll have something which will actually mimic it for us and where we can go and check the contents of our emails and check that attachments have been attached and things like that. So this is gonna be uh, perfect for us for where we're at at the moment. As well as this file, uh, we've also got a file in config packages and that's mailer.yaml. So this is our configuration file for mailer. And there's also an entry made in the .env file, which is commented out. So don't worry about those things for the time being. We'll come on to that shortly. First though, let's go and create an email. So in our purchase confirmation notification handler, just here, what we'll do is we'll say email equals and then I want to call some methods off this, so I'm gonna say new email, but in parentheses, and I'll make sure that I am pulling in the right one. So I'll just delete that. So email equals new email, and you want the one from Symphony Component Mime. Okay, then we'll say from, and you can just make something up here for the time being. sales at stocksapp.com then we'll say two and for this we can grab the email address that we got here so notification get order get by get email drop that in there next we'll have a subject and so I'll say contract note for order and it'd be good to have an order ID so let's actually go back to our stock transaction controller and where we created this uh, anonymous order class here. Let's add another method to this and this will sort of show us the way to go when we come to actually work out our data. So get ID and I'm just gonna return the number one. Okay, so what that means is I can go back to this and say notification get order 
get ID. And then we'll finish off with some text and we'll just say here is your contract note. So the actual content of the email doesn't really matter to us much at the moment. All that matters is that we can actually send this email. And so in the next step or in the next recording, what we'll do is we'll be attaching that PDF, but we don't need to concern ourselves with that at the moment. All we want to do at the moment is just make sure that we can actually send an email. So how do we dispatch this? We're going to need a mailer. If I go down to my terminal and I say php bin console debug auto wiring and then mailer okay so we've got three choices here there's a mailer logger that's not what we want mailer interface and so this is what we want interface for mailers able to send emails synchronous or asynchronous and the other one is just an interface for all mailer transports so it looks like we should be able to type in mailer interface and get an instance of mailer I'll go and create a construct method private mailer interface mailer and then down here I'll say this mailer send and then all I need to do is pass in my email and that should work for us okay back to this docker compose override file because I do want to use this mail catcher which means I'm going to uh, set up docker to handle this for me first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file so copy that paste it and then my new file I'm going to call docker compose .yaml. then in my git ignore file I'm going to add that other one docker compose .override .yaml. and what I intend to do here is combine docker with the symphony CLI and so if we go back to that config file for our mailer that we saw before this is an even convention which Symphony CLI uses, so this mailer here will actually match up with this, and then this will be used as our mailer service. In order to be able to follow along, if you want to do this the same way as what I'm doing, you'll need to have Docker Desktop, and with that you'll get Docker Compose and Docker. And so this is where you need to go. The address is at the top of the screen. Just download the version and install it for uh, whatever operating system you're using, whether that be Windows, Mac or Linux, and then you should be good to go. Once you're in that position, all you need to do is say docker compose up hyphen D. And so if that's the first time you've run this for you, it'll probably need to go and get the Shickling mail catcher image. I've already been having a little practice with this, so I've already got the Shickling mail catcher image. The next thing I'm gonna do is start a development server. I'm using the Symfony binary, and in fact, you actually need to be using the Symfony binary in order for uh, this to work, in order for this service to be used the way that we're trying to use it here. So, Symfony, server start hyphen d okay so now i have a development server running the final thing i'm going to do is this symphony open colon local colon webmail hit enter and that will take you to this mail catcher and so here i'll be able to view any emails that i've sent and read them check their attachments download the attachments stuff like that so nice little handy little development tool that can use for faking sending emails and checking uh, emails which should have been sent. Okay, so now I need to go to that buy endpoint. So uh, localhost colon 8000 forward slash buy. And so we see the message that we saw before, uh, creating a PDF contract note, emailing contract note. I'll actually de uh, delete that from the file in a minute. But it says, thanks, we've emailed you your contract note. Let's go over to our mail catcher. And so here we've actually received an email. Let's click on that. And so this is our email in plain text. Here is your contract note. I'm just going to go back to the purchase confirmation notification handler and delete this line which I don't actually need to see okay and we'll go and send that off again 
Okay, so this time we just see creating a PDF contract note because I don't need to echo out that I'm sending an email because I actually am sending an email. And if I check uh, mail catcher again, we've been sent another email. And so now successfully sending an email in the next one, what we need to do is go and generate a PDF which we can actually attach to that email. If you'd like to know more about sending uh, emails in Symfony, then I have a video dedicated to the subject. It's quite old now, but it goes into uh, things in a little bit more depth because I don't want this to become like an email lesson. Uh, but it goes over the stuff we've covered there a bit more and also a bit more of an explanation of how uh, Docker is working. Before I finish, I'll just remind you that the project is on GitHub. So if you want to go and fork the repo, if you want to contribute, then feel free to do so. Very easy to set up. And thanks to Dimitri, we now have a readme with all the setup instructions and how to get up and running. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. And also, if you're interested in my full-length courses, then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.